This is the Transformers Studio Series from the movie Transformers Bumblebee. We have core class concept art Decepticon Rumble, a figure that I've been anxious to get. I picked up this figure from Our Toys. And here is the Bumblebee movie concept art core class Rumble out of the box. Sorry, but I, this figure is just not doing it for me. It's probably one of the more useless figures from the Studio Series line that I've seen. It's basically a, a, a brick with some articulation. The absence of features with this figure is really what's putting this figure down. And on top of that, I got a quality defect. I'll tell you more about that in a little while. Head to toe, the figure stands at about six centimeters tall or about two and three eighths inches tall. And for comparisons, here he is with the core class Transformers the Movie Studio Series 86 Rumble, as well as the uh, Bumblebee Movie Core Class Ravage. And here they all are with the Bumblebee Movie Voyager Class Soundwave, which he does interact with. We'll show that off later. Same price point. Look at the disparity of the plastic. There's so much plastic in this one. There's so much playability, so much features with this figure. And this one just hardly does anything. He's got his pile drivers. That's it. That's all it does. Oh, uh, articul the articulation on the toes. He's got a hinge for the toes that allow him to do Michael Jackson's uh, Moonwalker. Not the Moonwalk, but uh, Smooth Criminal. And it'll allow him to fold down and you can do the pile driver. That's it. That's, I think, the basic main feature that this figure has in robot mode. It's got a ball jointed neck. Uh, the shoulders go up and down or in and out, swivel. The waist has an ab crunch, no swivel. Uh, swivel hinge hips that allow you to do the splits forward and backwards. It's got a ball jointed knee. And here's a close up look at that figure. There's a lot of detail going on, but there's just not a lot of, of features. He has these two guns. Uh, cannons or blaster pistols that are merely aesthetic. It only plugs on his back and on his legs when he transforms, but that's it. It's purely aesthetic. The pile drivers don't have any peg holes. I mean, how difficult was it to just put some peg holes right here so he could hold the gun? I don't know what, what's up with that. And you know, I didn't, I mean, this was okay, uh, the removable pile drivers. I like the fact that they were trying to incorporate the pile drivers onto his hands, but the least they could have done is somehow flip out a fist and have his hands hold it because he's perpetually on pile driver mode and that's it. How is he going to scratch his nose or scratch his ass? I mean, they naps, they're okay, color, plastic quality. I'm not going to fault the figure on that plastic quality is actually pretty good it's it's not as soft and gummy as some of the other studio series figures we've had it's definitely better than the ravage plastic plastic for ravage is really soft and cheap this one a little bit more solid i'll give them that to transform him and here's the quality defect that i i was talking about look at his elbows right underneath you see that hole right there that slot right there and you see this jagged excuse for a hole look at that it's all jagged and the reason for that is it only had half a hole this one was a completely bored out this one was halfway done and as such part of the first step of the transformation is really to fold up the arms this way and this one would not tab in i had to use a box cutter cut open a bit of the plastic uh, I had to use those small flat screwdrivers, the one you use for your spectacles, for, for, for eyeglasses. Uh, and I had to bore out that hole so that now it looks so ugly. I really had to chip away some of that plastic because, I mean, at this point in time, this is not even funny anymore. I keep getting the quality control defects, all the defective figures somehow the universe finds a way to put them on my lap and no matter how how hard i try to avoid them i just keep getting them it's not even funny anymore so i had to bore through that so that this thing would somehow plug in it's not even plugging in properly by a millimeter so that sucks i, I i'm not faulting the store or, or the owner for selling me this i i had an opportunity to pick between one between two figures actually and I had to pick this one. And like I said, the universe just hates me. Anyway, so that's the first part of the transformation. Then you fold it up this way. Okay, fold the feet up this way. The weapons, 
you want to tab them here onto his legs. See, they found a way to have the weapons tab in onto the legs, but they couldn't put holes on the pile, pile drivers so that he could hold his weapons. I mean, seriously, Hasbro. Uh, this thing is going for $17, $18 here in Asia. Cheapest is probably 15 bucks. In the US, I know these guys are selling for $10 and they have more plastic than this one. So we know what Hasbro is capable of with 10 bucks as retail price. And they gave us this. You, you fold the entire uh, waist and leg assembly up and over around his head and over the pile drivers. And the pile drivers have slots for the legs for you to tab them in. Okay. And that's it. He turns into a... You know those trash compactors on Cybertron when they squeeze uh, the, uh, you know, old cars, refuse, metal pieces, and they squish them all into a cube? That's exactly what this guy was going for. He wanted to disguise himself as a compacted cube so that he could disguise himself in a junkyard and the Autobots would never find him. That's his alt mode. Okay, so let's go and see if he does fit into Soundwave. Even with the, even with the defect and even with the way, well, my crude way of fixing, uh, putting a hole into it, it somehow still fits. So, um, he fit. The instructions don't tell you how to fit him in. You just sort of figure it out. I, I try, he, he does, well, he can, he doesn't, well, he can fit that way. That's one way. Uh, the other way, the more snug way is this way. So, yeah, but either way, it's fine. Uh, I think the first one was better uh, because you won't have a difficult time uh, removing him. So I don't even know what that is. Uh, <laughs> he just stays inside Soundwave. I don't know, he, he's not a data drive or uh, he's not a data storage device or anything like that. It doesn't seem like he's anything. He just, the whole gimmick's just fitting there. So yeah, a very useless figure. That's all he can do, basically. That's, he fits inside Soundwave and he, he looks kind of cool in robot mode with the pile jars, but that's it. And so some final thoughts on this concept art core class rumble again a very very useless figure not worth the price of admission for about if you're going to spend like what 10 15 bucks on this figure i suggest you just wait for this one to show up at ross and buy it for like what two bucks three bucks that's i think how much it's worth it's pretty useless there's no features or gimmicks whatsoever he's constantly in pile driver mode he looks kind of cool that way but that's all he can do he's got guns which he can't even hold except through his feet uh <laughs> this is the only way i i think he can shoot at autobots using his feet uh the designs are okay but I think they should have given us more with this figure considering the fact that they can give us a lot more for that same budget, especially if, because they've, give, they've given us Rumble and Frenzy from the Transformers movie, 86 core class uh, figures. I mean, there's just no excuse for this figure. Uh, Hasbro just cheapened out on us. Now I know why this thing stayed in concept uh, because it, it, it's, <laughs> it's just useless. He transforms into the weirdest alt mode, a trash compacted cube that fits into Soundwave. That's it. So my final take on this one, it's got to be a 3 out of 10. Maybe I'm, I'm just salty and bitter about getting a uh, factory defect. But, you know, I, I, I would have forgave Hasbro for that factory defect had this figure been an awesome figure. But it's just not. So I cannot recommend this figure. Save your money for something else. Let me know what you guys think. Am I being too harsh for this figure? And I'm pretty sure they're going to repaint this into Frenzy. Definitely. Because that's just how Hasbro works. Hit me up in the comments. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.